So, hello. I really don't know how I feel about this filming style of up and down. and It's a little weird to me, but we're gonna do the whole series of videos today like that. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or coming from Facebook, I do have a YouTube channel, and you should definitely go hit that like and subscribe button there. Um, for everyone else who is a subscriber and already watches my channel, hello and welcome back. Um, we're gonna talk about Facebook. Uh, we're gonna talk about misinformation and how Facebook still allows it and how Facebook is probably going to be one of the biggest challenges of the 2016 election because most of the people my mom's age seem to be getting their information there and Trump is dumping tons of money into fake ads and you've got Russians doing fake accounts and fake memes and fake Ugh, copy and paste posts where people don't actually um check the information before sharing it and it's really bad and if we want to have a fighting chance against handing our country over to russia maybe we should fight this constant disinformation campaign just a thought yeah, no, just putting it out there all right let's start with memes i don't know how many times i have to tell people Memes are not facts. I can make a meme. It's not that hard. Anyone can make a meme on their phone. Um, I actually did this to prove a point. Someone was like, memes are hard to make and me, 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 me. And I was like, they're really not. I can do like 10 of them in five minutes. And I did. I bombarded them with fake memes that I had made on my phone because it was easy. Um, memes are not facts. Before you share a meme, check the facts behind it. Because if you share a meme that is not true, you're intentionally spreading misinformation. And do you really want to be part of the problem? And Russia is actually creating these fake memes to manipulate and control our country because they want everyone in the world to think that all governments are run the same way they are, where every election is rigged and <laughs> corruption runs rampant everywhere. And yes, our government is deeply, deeply corrupt. Just look at the Republican Party and the impeachment trial. And Trump is literally giving campaign money to people who are supposed to be voting on his trial. So he's bribing people. Yeah, but that's a different video for a different day. My point is that it's deeply corrupt, but it's not as corrupt as, say, Russia, where Putin wins by like 90% of the vote, which is total crap, by the way, total crap. He also controls the media. We don't do that here. As much as Trump would like to control the media, he doesn't. Okay, then we have these copy and paste things that go around that can be anything from copy and paste this and your profile won't be made. Um, you won't have to pay for your profile to something I saw a couple of weeks back that was absolutely terrible it was like the virginia gun laws are gonna make it illegal for people to even practice martial arts if you get together and practice martial arts it's illegal and that's not at all what virginia's gun laws were doing it was basically voting through some common sense gun laws they also aren't gonna go door to door to take your guns um as much as i don't like governor ralph northam he he did come out and state that he won't pass any law that won't grandfather some gun owners in, so there's that. You know, yeah, there's that. And people just see this, they get angry, they copy and paste it, and then they send it to the next person who copies and pastes it, and none of it is true. No one ever fact checks it. And then they're like, I must vote against the Democrats, or I must vote against the Republicans because of what I saw on Facebook, and Facebook is fact. No, no, anyone can do that. Anyone, absolutely anyone. It's how conspiracy theories are started. I'm pretty sure 4chan is how we got Q. So, you know, there's that. So anyone can type anything anonymously behind a keyboard pretending to be anyone else. I'm just saying. It could literally be your 70-year-old grandma behind a screen <laughs> typing up nonsense. I mean, that's literally what, what it's come to. Now we have to talk about Facebook itself allowing for fake political ads they are not going to fact check any sort of political style ad they're not going to be like if you are a political candidate 
you could literally say any lie that you want. And if you look at Donald Trump's ads on Facebook, they are full of lies. They are full of debunked conspiracy theory lies. Things that are not true. He's lying just about every... He opens his mouth, he lies. And Facebook is not going to fact check it. And not only are they not going to fact check it, but they fully had like this secret meeting with Donald Trump about not silencing conservative voices or some crap. And we all know what it was about. It was about Facebook allowing him to use the same style of political ads because he's not dumping into TV. He's not dumping his ads into TV. He's dumping it into places like Facebook and YouTube in Facebook. It's mostly Facebook that he's targeting. An older generation that doesn't Google or understand that memes are not facts. And that's this voting for Trump. So yeah. Please, please, please show this to a Trump supporter who thinks that memes are facts. Memes are not facts. Memes are memes. And if they don't have any proof behind them and you Google it and it says this is not true, it's not true. Just because it's in a meme doesn't make it true. I don't know how many times I have to say that over and over and over again because there's so many memes that I see that are just meant to mislead people. And they're shared by everyone. Uh oh, Otis is coming. Oh, there he is. I thought we were going to make it through an entire series of videos without Otis, but nope. Oh, I know, baby, your life is hard. But memes are not facts. Copy and posts are not facts. Before you share this stuff, just take an extra five minutes to look at it and be like, it's, it's, is it true or not? Um, even the military has posters that say, before you share, check to see if it's fact. That's, that's how bad it has truly gotten. So um, that's all I have to say on that matter as we're running close to seven minutes. Um, once again, if you are seeing this on Facebook, hello. How are you? I have an entire YouTube channel devoted to everything from politics to makeup. Come and join me. I'm awesomely fun and I will see y'all later.